Hello friends, before we start the video, I want to tell you that if you like my content, you can subscribe to my channel. By doing so, you'll greatly help promote my channel. Thank you. In the bustling city of Shijiazhuang, China, a young man named Lai worked tirelessly as a food delivery courier. Lai was passionate about his job and he enjoyed the freedom of riding his motorcycle through the city streets, delivering delicious meals to his customers. One sunny August day in 2020, Lai was on his usual route when he was suddenly attacked by two men. The attackers tried to steal Lee's motorcycle, but the brave courier refused to hand over the keys. However, the assailants were not deterred and began to beat Lai mercilessly, causing him to fall to the ground in agony. The attackers took the keys and rode off on the motorcycle, leaving Lai bleeding and alone on the ground. When the police arrived on the scene, they found Lai in a terrible condition. His face was covered in blood and he was barely conscious. Lai was immediately taken to the hospital, where doctors discovered that he had sustained several fractures and a severe concussion. He was admitted to the hospital for several days, during which time he received extensive medical treatment and care. The police launched an investigation into the attack, and they soon found the stolen motorcycle. The assailants were eventually caught and charged with robbery with violence. Justice had been served, but the incident highlighted the dangers that food delivery couriers face on a daily basis. Attacks on food delivery couriers have become an increasing problem in many countries around the world. These workers are often targeted by thieves who are looking to steal their motorcycles or the food they are carrying. As a result, many couriers are left with physical injuries and emotional scars. In response to this growing problem, several measures have been put in place to protect food delivery couriers. Some companies have started using GPS tracking systems to monitor the location of their couriers, while others have introduced safety training programs for their employees. My opinion. Lai's story is a sobering reminder of the dangers that food delivery couriers face, but it is also a story of resilience and bravery in the face of adversity. Lai's courage and determination have inspired many, and his story serves as a reminder of the importance of supporting and protecting those who work tirelessly to bring us our favorite meal. Eddie had always enjoyed his job as a delivery man. He loved the freedom of being out on his bike, the rush of the wind in his face, and the feeling of helping people by bringing them food. However, on that fateful day in June 2017, everything changed. As he pedaled through the streets of New York City, Eddie was suddenly attacked by two men. They came out of nowhere, punching and kicking him, and then snatching his food and his bike. He was left lying on the ground, battered and bruised, wondering what had just happened. The pain was excruciating as he tried to get up. His arms and legs were broken, and he had suffered a concussion. He knew he needed help, and he was lucky that a passerby had seen what happened and called 911. The ambulance arrived quickly, and Eddie was rushed to the hospital. He underwent surgery to repair his broken bones and he spent several days in the hospital recovering from his injuries. He was in a lot of pain physically and emotionally, and he couldn't stop thinking about the attack. The police came to talk to him a few days later, and Eddie told them everything he could remember. He described the attackers as two men in their early twenties, wearing hoodies and masks. He didn't know who they were or why they had targeted him, but he hoped the police would find them. It wasn't long before the police made a breakthrough in the case. They found Eddie's stolen bike abandoned in an alleyway, and they were able to get some DNA evidence from it. They also found a witness who had seen the attackers running away from the scene. With this evidence, the police were able to track down the two suspects. They were both arrested and charged with robbery, violence and theft of property. Eddie was relieved that the attackers had been caught, but he couldn't shake the fear that this could happen again. The attack on Eddie was just one example of the insecurity faced by workers in the delivery industry. Many couriers face dangers on a daily basis, from aggressive drivers to theft and assault. In response, 
Some cities have taken steps to improve the safety of delivery workers. My opinion. The story of Eddie's attack and recovery highlights the dangers faced by delivery workers and the importance of taking action to improve their safety. It reminds us to be grateful for the work of these essential workers and to support efforts to protect them. It also teaches us about the power of resilience and the ability to overcome adversity. It was a cold, crisp day in November of 2019 in Chicago. The sun was shining and there was a light breeze in the air. It was the perfect day for a food delivery. A young man named David, who worked for a popular food delivery service, was on his way to deliver an order to a customer in the city. As he arrived at the address, he parked his bike and went to retrieve the order from his bag. However, as soon as he turned around, he saw a man coming towards him with a knife. The man was yelling and screaming, and David was terrified. The customer attacked him without warning, and David was beaten and stabbed repeatedly. He tried to fight back, but the man was too strong. Finally, he managed to escape and ran for his life. He didn't stop until he was out of breath and safely away from his attacker. David knew he needed help, so he called the police right away. When they arrived on the scene, he told them everything that had happened. They searched for the customer and found him hiding in a nearby alleyway. He was arrested and taken into custody. According to local media, the customer was highly intoxicated at the time of the attack. He had a history of violence and had been in and out of jail for years. He was charged with assaulting David with a weapon and faced a long list of possible penalties, including jail time and fines. David was taken to the hospital, where he received medical treatment for his injuries. The wounds from the knife were deep, and he had several bruises and cuts all over his body. It took him weeks to recover, but he was lucky to have survived. Despite his recovery, David's food delivery job was permanently disrupted because of the injuries he sustained. He tried to return to work, but he found that he was too scared to go back out on deliveries. He quit his job and looked for other work, but he struggled to find anything that paid as well. Looking back on that fateful day in November, David realized that it had changed his life in ways he could never have imagined. He had learned to be brave in the face of danger, and he had discovered a passion for cooking that had sustained him through some tough times. He was proud of what he had accomplished, and he knew that he had the strength and courage to face whatever the future might bring. My opinion. This story reminds us that even in the face of unexpected and terrifying situations, we have the strength to survive and overcome. David's experience also teaches us to be resilient and adaptable, to find new opportunities and pursue our passions even when our lives take unexpected turns. And finally, it's a reminder to treat others with kindness and respect, even in stressful situations, as we never know what struggles they may be facing. In October 2022, in the bustling city of Sydney, Australia, the sun was shining and the streets were alive with the sound of traffic and the chatter of people going about their day. It was just another typical day for most, but for one food delivery man, it would be the day that he would never forget. The food delivery man had just arrived at the location of his latest order. As he approached the front door, he noticed that it was ajar. He cautiously pushed it open and peered inside, calling out to the customer. To his surprise, he found the customer lying on the floor, clearly intoxicated. The courier called out to the customer, trying to get his attention. The customer stirred, mumbling incoherently, but eventually managed to get up and stumble towards the door. As he approached the courier, he suddenly became angry and began to shout, demanding that the courier leave immediately. Feeling threatened, the courier stepped back towards the door, hoping to make a quick exit. However, the customer continued to approach him, this time with a gun in his hand. The courier froze in terror, realizing that he was in serious danger. The customer pointed the gun directly at the courier, shouting and threatening him. The courier pleaded with the customer, trying to reason with him, 
but to no avail. The customer was clearly out of control, and the courier was afraid for his life. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the courier managed to break free from the customer's grasp and make a run for the door. He stumbled outside, gasping for breath, and quickly dialed the emergency services. Within minutes, a team of police officers arrived on the scene. They swiftly apprehended the customer, who was still waving the gun around. The customer was immediately taken into custody, and a search of his home revealed that he had a valid gun license. Despite this, the customer was charged with assaulting the courier, and he would have to face the consequences of his actions in court. Meanwhile, the courier was left traumatized by the experience, and he decided to take a few days off to recover from the ordeal. In the days and weeks that followed, the incident made headlines across the country, sparking a debate about gun control and the safety of delivery workers. The courier received an outpouring of support from the public, with many praising his bravery in the face of danger. As for the customer, he was ultimately found guilty of assault and sentenced to several years in prison. The incident served as a stark reminder of the dangers that delivery workers face every day, and it prompted many to call for greater protection for those who work in this vital industry. In the end, the incident may have been a traumatic experience for the courier, but it also served as a wake-up call for the community as a whole. It reminded us all of the importance of staying vigilant and looking out for one another, even in the face of danger. And it underscored the fact that even in the midst of chaos and confusion, there are still heroes among us, willing to risk their own safety to help others. My opinion. The story above reminds us of the importance of being vigilant and aware of our surroundings, especially when in unfamiliar or potentially dangerous situations. It also highlights the importance of showing empathy and compassion towards others, even when they may be acting irrationally or aggressively. Lastly, it serves as a reminder of the risks that delivery workers face on a daily basis and the need to protect and support these essential workers. It was a warm, sunny day in May 2018 in Toronto, Canada the food delivery courier set out to make a delivery to a customer's home. The courier had been working in this profession for a while now and had never encountered any trouble. But as he arrived at the location, something seemed off. The customer had requested that he come inside instead of waiting at the doorstep, and the courier had a feeling that something was not right. The courier was cautious, but he had no idea what danger he was walking into. As he entered the house, he found the customer acting strangely and began to feel uneasy. Suddenly, the customer pulled out a knife and demanded money and food from the courier. The courier tried to calm the customer down and convince him that he could take the order and leave, but the customer continued to threaten him with the knife. The courier's heart raced as he tried to figure out what to do next. He knew that he needed to get out of there as quickly as possible. The customer, however, was not going to let him leave easily. The situation escalated quickly, and the courier found himself in a life-threatening situation. After a few tense moments, the courier managed to get out of the house and call the police. The police arrived on the scene and apprehended the assailant, but not before the courier had sustained minor injuries as a result of the attack. The courier was shaken up, but grateful to be alive. Despite the ordeal, the courier was determined not to let the incident affect his work. He quickly recovered from his injuries and continued to work as a food delivery person. The incident, however, had left him wary and cautious when delivering food to customers' homes. The police warned other couriers about the possible dangers of delivering food to customers' homes, advising them to be extra vigilant and cautious when entering customers' homes. They also urged food delivery companies to take extra measures to ensure the safety of their employees. In the end, justice was served, and the courier could finally put the traumatic incident behind him. He had learned a valuable lesson about the dangers of his job, but he was determined to continue delivering food and providing excellent service to his customers. The incident has shown him the importance of being cautious and aware at all times, but it had also reinforced his love for his job and the people he served. My opinion. 
This story serves as a reminder that danger can be lurking anywhere and we must always be cautious and aware of our surroundings. It also highlights the importance of perseverance and determination in the face of adversity. Despite the trauma he experienced, the courier did not let the incident deter him from his passion and continued to provide excellent service to his customers. It was a hot August night in Los Angeles, USA, and a food delivery courier was out making his rounds. He had been working long hours, delivering food to customers all over the city. As he arrived at his next stop, he noticed that something was off. The customer who had ordered the food was clearly intoxicated. The delivery man tried to be professional and polite, despite the strange behavior of the customer. As he handed over the food, the customer suddenly attacked him with a mesh sheet. The delivery man was taken aback by the sudden assault, and before he knew it, the customer had tied him up and held him hostage. For hours, the delivery man was trapped, with no way of escaping. The customer threatened him, telling him that he would be killed if he tried to escape or call the police. The delivery man was terrified, wondering if he would ever make it out alive. As the night wore on, the delivery man tried to stay calm and alert. He watched his captor carefully, waiting for a chance to escape. Finally, when the customer fell asleep, the courier saw his opportunity. With all his strength, he managed to free himself and make a run for it. He ran as fast as he could, not looking back until he was far enough away from the customer's house. He finally stopped, gasping for breath and shaking with fear. He pulled out his phone and called the police, telling them everything that had happened. Within minutes, the police arrived at the scene and arrested the customer. He was charged with assault, kidnapping and hostage taking and was taken to jail. The delivery man was shaken by his experience, but he knew that he had done the right thing. He had survived a terrifying ordeal and he was grateful to be alive. In the aftermath of the incident, the delivery company implemented new safety protocols to protect their couriers. They made sure that all deliveries were made to safe locations and that their employees had the training they needed to stay safe on the job. The delivery man returned to work, but he was never quite the same. The memory of that night would stay with him forever, a reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows of the city. But he was also proud of himself for staying strong and fighting for his life. He knew that he had faced his fears and come out on top. And he knew that he would always be ready for whatever challenges lay ahead. My opinion. This story is really creepy. What could have happened if the customer had lost his temper and decided to beat the delivery guy? He was very lucky. The delivery guy was totally right to call the police. It was a cold winter day in January 2022, and Gosha, a food delivery courier, was working in Moscow, Russia. He had been delivering food orders all day and was eager to finish his shift and go home. However, little did he know that his life was about to take a dark and unexpected turn. Gosha received an order to deliver food to a customer in a remote part of the city. He followed the instructions and reached the location, but something seemed off. The customer appeared nervous and agitated, demanding that Gosha enter the house. Sensing something was wrong, Gosha politely refused and began to leave. But before he could go, the customer pulled out a gun and pointed it at Gosha, demanding that he hand over all his money and belongings. Gosha, realizing that he was in grave danger, tried to flee. But the customer, in a fit of rage, fired several shots, hitting Gosha multiple times. The wounded courier fell to the ground and the customer fled the scene. Passers-by rushed to Gosha's aid and called for an ambulance. But it was too late. Gosha had sustained several bullet wounds and could not be saved. The news of the brutal attack spread quickly, shocking the entire city. People were outraged and demanded that the perpetrator be caught and brought to justice. The police launched an extensive investigation and after weeks of searching, it finally apprehended the suspect. The trial of the customer was highly publicized 
with people following every development closely. The evidence against the perpetrator was overwhelming, and he was found guilty of murder and attempted robbery. He was sentenced to life in prison, and the city breathed a sigh of relief that justice had been served. Gosha's family and friends were devastated by the tragedy. They mourned the loss of a kind and hard-working young man who had a bright future ahead of him. The incident left a permanent scar on their lives, and they struggled to come to terms with the senseless violence that had taken their loved one away. In the end, Gosha's story served as a reminder of the dangers that lurk in the most unexpected places. It highlighted the importance of being vigilant and aware of our surroundings, especially when working in a high-risk job like food delivery. And it also showed the power of justice and the resilience of a community in the face of tragedy. My opinion. I think that Gosha should not have run away in such a situation. It would have been safer to give all these things that the customer asked for. After all, no thing is more important than a person's life, but Gosha's fate was dealt with differently. It's a sad story. It was a cold winter evening in London when the unfortunate incident took place. January 2019 to be exact. The city was bustling with activity, as usual with people rushing to their destinations, trying to keep themselves warm against the chilly breeze. Among them was a food delivery courier named Jake, who was on his way to deliver an order to a customer. As Jake arrived at the delivery location, he was greeted by a man who appeared to be visibly intoxicated. The man stumbled towards him, reeking of alcohol, and began to demand the food. Jake tried to explain that he needed to verify the customer's identity before he could hand over the order. But the man wasn't having any of it. Suddenly, the man pulled out a switchblade knife and lunged at Jake. In a panic, Jake tried to defend himself, but he wasn't trained for such situations. The man was relentless and soon overpowered Jake, leaving him lying on the ground, bleeding profusely. But that wasn't the end of Jake's ordeal. The man, now in possession of the food, decided to take things a step further. He dragged Jake into his apartment and held him hostage for several hours, while he consumed the stolen food and continued to drink. Meanwhile, Jake's absence hadn't gone unnoticed. His colleagues had become worried when he hadn't returned after his delivery time had lapsed. They tried calling his phone, but it went unanswered. Sensing that something was amiss, they contacted the authorities and reported Jake missing. The police began their search for Jake, scouring the area where he was last seen. It wasn't long before they found the man's apartment, and upon entering, they were greeted by a horrific sight. Jake was lying on the ground, barely conscious, while the man continued to consume the stolen food, completely oblivious to their presence. The police quickly apprehended the man and rushed Jake to the hospital. Despite their best efforts, Jake succumbed to his injuries and passed away. The man was subsequently charged with murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. The news of Jake's tragic demise sent shockwaves throughout the food delivery community, with many of his colleagues left reeling from the senseless act of violence that had taken their friend and colleague away from them. In the months that followed, the incident became a cautionary tale with food delivery companies implementing new safety protocols and guidelines to protect their couriers from such dangerous situations. Jake's memory lived on, a reminder to all those who worked in the industry of the dangers that could lurk around every corner. In the end, Jake's legacy was not just the work he did, but the impact he had on the industry as a whole, making it safer for all those who followed in his footsteps. My opinion? The tragic story of Jake's death reminds us of the importance of safety and the need for caution, especially when we find ourselves in unfamiliar situations. It also highlights the devastating consequences of violence and the importance of treating others with kindness and respect, regardless of the circumstances. In the heart of San Francisco, amidst the hustle and bustle of city life, an incident occurred that would change the lives of two individuals forever. It was February of 2020, and a food delivery person named Jack had just arrived at his destination to deliver an order. 
As he walked up to the door, he noticed that something was off about the customer who had placed the order. The customer, a man named Thomas, was pacing back and forth in his apartment, muttering to himself and sweating profusely. Jack could tell that something was wrong, but he tried to keep a calm demeanour and deliver the food as quickly as possible. As he handed over the order to Thomas, however, the situation took a turn for the worse. Suddenly, without warning, Thomas lunged at Jack, punching him repeatedly with his fists. Jack was taken aback and didn't know how to react. He tried to defend himself, but Thomas was too strong. In a moment of terror, Thomas pulled out a gun and pointed it at Jack. Jack's heart sank as he realised he might not make it out of this situation alive. But then, a miracle happened. Thomas seemed to snap out of his trance, his eyes clearing and his breathing slowing down. He lowered the gun and stepped back, looking bewildered. Jack didn't hesitate. He took advantage of the moment of confusion and sprinted out of the apartment, calling the police as he ran. He could hear Thomas shouting incoherently behind him, but he didn't stop until he reached the safety of his car. The police arrived quickly, and Jack told them what happened. They were able to apprehend Thomas with that incident, and Jack was taken to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. As Jack lay in his hospital bed, he couldn't stop thinking about what happened. He had never been so close to death before, and he realised that life was precious and fragile. He decided that he wanted to make a change in the world, to do something meaningful with his life. Meanwhile, Thomas was in custody, receiving the psychiatric help he so desperately needed. His mental health had been deteriorating for years, and the incident with Jack had been the breaking point. With the help of his doctors and therapists, he slowly began to recover. In the end, what had started as a terrifying incident had led to a new sense of purpose for Jack and a new lease on life for Thomas. They both knew that they would never forget what had happened that day, but they were both grateful for the unexpected turn of events that had led them to where they were today. My opinion, Jack was very lucky that the customer came out of the trance in time. Otherwise, it could have ended much worse for both of them. Sometimes people just need help, as was the case with Tomos, who ended up getting it. The story ended well, though there was intrigue. It was a typical winter day in February 2018 in New York City, USA. The city was bustling with people going about their daily routines. John, a food delivery courier, was on his way to deliver food to a customer who had placed an order through the app. Little did he know that this delivery would change his life forever. John arrived at the customer's address and rang the doorbell. However, there was no answer. He tried calling the customer but the phone was switched off. John was about to leave when he heard someone shouting at him. He turned around and saw a man running towards him. The man accused John of trying to steal his food and demanded that he give it back. John tried to explain that he was the delivery man and had been sent by the restaurant. However, the man did not believe him and became more aggressive. He started to push John and pulled out a converted dramatic gun, pointing it directly at him. John's heart raced as he realised the gravity of the situation. He knew he had to act fast if he wanted to stay alive. He managed to push the man away and ran towards his bike. The man chased after him, but John was too fast for him. John got on his bike and rode away as fast as he could. He was shaking with fear and knew he had to call the police. He stopped at a nearby coffee shop and called the police, giving them a description of the man and the address where the incident had taken place. The police arrived at the scene and found the man still waiting outside the building. He was arrested on the spot and taken into custody. The police searched his apartment and found several other weapons, which were all illegal. The man was charged with assault and illegal possession of weapons. John was traumatised by the incident and quit his job as a delivery courier. He realised that his life was more important than any job and that he had to take better care of himself. He started taking self-defence classes and became more aware of his surroundings. 
The trial was held a few months later, and the man was found guilty of assault and illegal possession of weapons. He was sentenced to several years in prison. John was relieved to hear the verdict and felt that justice had been served. In conclusion, the incident that happened in February 2018 in New York City was a wake-up call for John. It made him realize the importance of personal safety and the need to be aware of his surroundings. The incident also highlights the dangers that delivery couriers face every day and the need for better security measures to protect them. The man who pointed the gun at John got what he deserved, and justice prevailed in the end. My opinion. The story above taught me the importance of personal safety and being aware of my surroundings. It also highlighted the risks and dangers that delivery couriers face every day, and the need for better security measures to protect them. It's crucial to prioritize our safety above everything else and take steps to protect ourselves.